you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. The Mohammedan they claim that Islam is a way of life. I say to you, my friend, Islam is a way of death. For Islam make you addicted to your lust, to evil, to do what is not right. Yet you give it good title, so you feel happy and you kill your guilt. Having sex with the children can't be from God. Even animals don't do it. But what you do, you call it marriage. To justify your evil beating women because they are weaker than you what do you do you are teaching them ethic to justify your act you marry one and second and third and fourth and what do you do you say Allah allow me but the question why one is not enough what is missing and why you want to have more are you a goat you say God allow me and are you enough with four no we divorce the four we get more four as long as you have money, Allah allow me. So Muhammad destroy the single sale of life, which is families, the family value. He destroyed the honesty of the children. He became, made them sex objects. He destroyed security of the world. He made the whole world is a field of war and slavery. Not to forget to mention how he insulted the black people, how he claimed that God created them to go to hell. Zero ethic, racist. And even when the Muslims they speak about how pretty Muhammad is, they don't speak about how pretty his ethic, they speak about him as the white man. There's a video on YouTube called The Description of the Messenger of Allah. And the man, he start crying when he speak about how a man, he went in the middle of the night and he look at the moon and he look at the prophet and he look at the moon and he look at the prophet and he look at the moon and look at the prophet and each time he look, he says, who is more handsome? Conclusion. Muhammad is the most handsome and yet they claim that Islam is not racist. Islam don't care for how you look like. But the second you speak about Muhammad, they describe for you his belly bone, how white his underarms is, how white his face is. If you search right now in YouTube and see the descendant of the Prophet, you will see how blonde they are, extremely blonde. You ask yourself, what's wrong with this religion? What will happen? If the descendant of the Prophet, they were not white. Is that a bad effect? Look at the descendant of Prophet Muhammad. This is the last thing we will show you before we go for today. Look at this. A bunch of red neck. Those are the descendant of Prophet Muhammad. And I guarantee you, none of them have to do anything with Muhammad. It's just another scam. But they won't accept you to be descendant from the Prophet, truly descendant, unless you are blonde. And then every scammer, he claimed that he is descended from Muhammad. That's Saddam Hussein, al Qazafi, King of Morocco, the King of Jordan. I mean, everybody in order to control the crowd and to fool them. And the funny is, what a shameful to be descendant from Muhammad. I would prefer to disappear from this earth to claim such a thing, for this is not an honor. This is disgusting. I mean, even the Sultan of Pronai, he claimed that he is descended from Muhammad. What the guy have to do with the Pronai? Even the Queen of England, they claimed that she descended from Prophet Muhammad. I mean, who's left? Who's left? Queen of Islam. Elizabeth, related to Prophet Muhammad, brother. <laughs> oh boy. What a scam religion. What a scam. Look, look at this guy. He descended to Prophet Muhammad. What happened to him? Are you okay, buddy? Makeup, lipstick. What? The face of the descendant of a Prophet Muhammad PPUH. Sure, he have to be so white. Are you kidding me? He can't be African. That will be attack on Islam. <laughs>
anyway I hope today we have a good time and let us make it 20,000 very soon so we can go live again share the link with your friends leave your comment and don't forget not to support us by at least making a comment at least you know people are so cheap so cheap even a comment is costly for them so I want to say thank you all everybody and remember what the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them not from their faces not from their looks we don't care we as a Christian we shall not care if the person is African or Asian or white we care for one thing the fruits my friend the fruits and the fruits of Muhammad is so clear evil like him ugly like him people who worship a look or a color they are racist to the bone and they will die with their racism people who they are looking for good life the good God they don't see color they look for the fruits if God he sent me a prophet he's a black what's a problem if God he sent me a prophet he's an Asian what is the problem there will be only a problem if I am a person who care for the look and the color you will not find single verse in the Bible describing how the Lord look like not a single line is speaking about his color not only the Bible says with him which means the Messiah there's no Greek there's no Hebrew there's no free there's no slave for all is one uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult and tough mean to be bold to say it as it is not as they want not politically correct being politically, politically correct is an illness is a weakness is somebody he is hiding something even forced to say something so if you are a Christian say things as it is yes we love the Muslims but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims is not the opposite So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are speaking rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it rude for sure.